Hey everybody, I'm going to do a combined Target and Hobby Lobby haul. I went nuts this weekend, so yeah. Ugh. I'm sure Mr. Kringle was really happy to be dragged around all the stores, but... Uh, yeah, so let's get started. This is all Target dollar spot stuff. This is Rudolph um, Band-Aids. So you've got cute little Santa and Rudolph and let's see. Oh, it's just Rudolph with a little bow on his head. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so cute. I love Rudolph. And Peanuts have to get the little to-do list. So this will make the side of the fridge look nice. And um, so they're magnetic. They were a buck. They make cute stocking stuffers too. And these are Lila's fault. Um, uh, another YouTuber that I watch, she does all these great haul videos. And I saw these and was hoping to find some other things, but I'm telling you, Target is picked over people. So if you need to start now, just don't even wait. Um, cute little stickers. They're like kind of 3D-ish. And have little Santas and we wish you a Merry Christmas and all that fun stuff. So I've got those and these little transfers. So you can like put them on mason jars. I don't know if you can see that. And make fun little crafts with them. And these were both a dollar. I mean, how can you pass that up for a buck? Which is exactly what they're counting on too, by the way. And then I had to get foil tape, washi tape. So I got, I'm a really traditional Christmas color girl. So I got red and silver and green. Those are pretty foil. They also had glittery ones too. These were all a dollar. And a pretty decent amount too. So it's not bad. And these cute little fabric bags. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to use them to give gift cards to people. I haven't decided yet, or I might put treats in them. I don't know, but this one's so cute. It has little, little holly berry jingle bells and then a little joy stocking. Those were, yeah, those were a dollar as well. And these were like two targets. So it was, I had to go to two targets to find all this stuff. I actually went to three, but the other one had nothing. So Snoopy coloring book because it's Christmas. Sorry, that was the back and has fun stuff like tic-tac-toe, gun color in. Do a little decode the message. And no, this is not for a child, it's for me. So don't judge me. And finally at Target, I got a cute little mistletoe dishcloth. It'll probably be in a recipe video. And then this pot holder has like grippies on it, like little I'm forever, some pans just kind of get away from you. And this will make sure that doesn't happen. And so for three bucks, I thought a dish towel and a really cool grippy pot holder were two thumbs up. And the dollar spot at Target, I also got this uh, tissue paper. It says, uh, Merry Christmas, Peace, Believe. Kind of a little more masculine on these which is nice because you know if you're giving a dude a gift bag he doesn't necessarily want something frilly on there so i just really liked the patterns in these and it was three dollars a piece for them which is a little more than i usually pay but eh, that's all right they're worth it right okay now it's time for hobby lobby are mr kringle and i the only ones that go yo hobby lobby 
Yo habe la be, just like that old rap song. It's probably just us, never mind. Okay, so we got these little cute little, I think they're sh like, oh God, I hope they're shatterproof. Yeah, they're shatterproof ornaments that look like little Christmas lights. We decorate uh, the graves of our dog and my mom's dog. They are buried next to each other and their Christmas trees got confiscated because we didn't we didn't go pick them up in time last year. So we had to get new trees this year. So that means new ornaments, new little baby ornaments. And we got these cute little ornaments is like the topper. It says, love is a four legged word. And then you can put their little picture in there, which we thought was really cute. It would be a fun way to have their picture there so other people could see them. Yes, they're at a pet cemetery, so. <laughs> and no, not, not in Maine with Judd and the Creeds, so. Okay, so that's the pet stuff. Oh yeah, and I got this little cookie dish, which I'm sure you'll be seeing in a recipe video. And I just thought it was cute. I like the little snowflakes around the edges. And Mr. Kringle, who, even though he scolds me for having a huge bag, a treat bag addiction, pointed them out to me, so these are all his fault. But these treat bags are so cute, little Christmas lights. And all the Hobby Lobby stuff was 50% off at the time I got them. So it was all, justi it was all justified. <laughs> so I got two of the Christmas lights. One that says Merry Christmas on the bags, and they all come with their little twist ties. Another Santa, I think I got him last year. I think I have 30 different treat bags, but I, I gift to a lot of people, so I have to, I have to have them. And then the Merry Christmas with like kind of a candy cane stripe. You can see it's clear. This is just white paper inside to show you the bag design, but. So I stocked up on treat bags. And then of course I had to stock up on things to put the treat bags in. So got this cute little Christmas light, kind of like paint can looking thing. So that was cute. That was $5, $2.50, 50 50% off. And then of course I got the bigger one. It's gonna be hard for me not to give this, or to, it's gonna be hard for me to give this away, but I keep telling myself this was um, $7, 50% off, but I have no room for all this stuff, so I don't have a choice but to give it away. But they're so cute, so I can probably fit like, I don't know, three different kinds of treat bags in there. I don't know, I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll show you guys what it looks like once I get that figured out. And then, I got all my tins. I got smaller tins, cute little gift box. And this was $5 or $2.50. It's the most wonderful time of the year. This has been my favorite design for it. They've carried this for a few years. They had a different outside though, and I like the old way better, but this is fine. It's cute for the holidays. Uh, that's five fifty, fifty percent off. This uh, buffalo check is real, really popular right now. So, and I just like I like it when it says Merry Christmas over Happy Holidays. Not that I begrudge anybody their holiday. I just, you know, I was really celebrating Christmas. So, four dollars, half off. And then I got the bigger, the bigger version. So that will hold some substantial amount of cookies and all that fun stuff. And that one was $7 and then half off that. So at Hobby Lobby, I also got this doormat, a uh, little snowman. We built a big snowman last year. Uh, we went to Vermont for Christmas and this just kind of reminded us both of Bob the snowman and Merry Christmas. And ours is just looking really bad. So. We needed to replace them this year. It's uh, $29.99, but 50% off, so $15, woohoo. 
I'm going to add home goods onto this because I only got a couple things there, but they're really cute. So uh, I've got this adorable box. It is so cute and just like cute little plaid pattern. It's eight dollars. Has a little met like magnetic front there and it has the same pattern inside and then just kind of a rusticy looking hmm, bonus so it's kind of a rustic looking inside really cute I already know what I'm using that for can't tell because the person watches and oh my god I made so many grunting noises when I saw this. I am a huge vintage Christmas. I love, even though I didn't grow up in mid-century, I love vintage Christmas. I mean, I like I was born in the 70s. There you go. And um, so like this kind of applies to really like stuff that my grandma had, the look of things that my grandma had, which I miss. And um, so it's these gift boxes. There's five gift boxes in here. I hope you can see, oh my gosh, the patterns are just so cute. Honestly, I could I could just frame this. I could just take a box and just frame it and I don't know, craziness. Um, $4. So, you know, you're paying just under a buck a piece for those, which I think for that pattern is really cute. And, another vintage, vintage-y looking Santa pattern on there from the Cole Miller home. Also a set of five. These are kind of, not quite robe size, but you know, for they'll do really well for like sweaters, shirts, stuff like that. Um, these were also $4, so really cute. Oh, it's almost gonna be a shame to give those away. And then finally, really quick, got, Godiva hot chocolate. We've got dark chocolate and milk chocolate because when I make hot chocolate, I like to mix my powders. It, it's a whole thing. I'll make a video on it, but oops. Sorry, he's kind of peeking in there, isn't he? But yeah. So that, let's see. These were $8 a piece, and we had just been in the Godiva store like two weeks ago, and they were. I want to say between 12 or like between 12 and 15 dollars I thought I saw in there so I feel like I'm getting a huge oh yeah it said originally it says 15 dollars down there and you guys probably can't see that but yeah 15 bucks got them for eight almost half off Woohoo! so there you go that concludes my other haul video have a great day guys